In Thailand, you would keep a personal Buddha image or image of a monastic, a monk, a teacher from the past, and you would have it with you all the time. Uh, and many of them just, you know, took off their their amulets and just put it into the treasure vase. Or they had something that they felt was valuable to them and they were willing to give it up to put it in. Sometimes we just don't know what to do and what impact it will have. And so that opportunity to just, to really give something that you can think through, you could, but you can also really just go to the heart and trust that intention. And that, it's not only the object, but the energy that's behind it that originally and in the energy behind just the offering. So um, that's what our prayers are. And so it was just a beautiful thing. And uh, I think people were really happy to participate in that. That area is one of the last areas to be developed in Thailand. It's an extraordinary, almost a museum, of the animals that are part of Southeast Asian jungles. When we went to do to the earth treasure vase to, to place it in, uh, in Daudam, which is, is, uh, is very remote. And there was like 40, 50 people, which that's all four wheel drive, either that or walking. You know, it wasn't as if we advertised or anything. It's just, it just happened. <laughs> Where's the power spot? Where are the different beings, uh, invisible beings that are protective deities? And whatnot? Where, do they, where do they go? Where do they travel? What's their route? It's on a bit of a spine of a hill, so it's, and then there's a bit of a flat spot, so it out overlooks the, kind of the valley and then vistas. So it's quite, uh, quite spectacular spot. In my own wish and aspiration is that it's an area that is is allowed to be uh, left as a as a yeah, as a sanctuary for for nature. That that can actually provide a seed for the, the area around there that uh, could regenerate quite easily if it were protected.